So you guys talk about this show. What is this show all about? Um, in terms of plot? Okay. So uh, my character is a very successful PR for athletes, and she's like killing it. She's she's got it. You know, she's got her life down. Um, she does not want a relationship. She does not want kids because her parents fought viciously, divorced, and they were never there for her. So she wants to steer clear of the relationship territory. When she was young, she had this imaginary friend that kind of came out of her mind from a drawing, came to life, and was like her buddy and her parent and her friend and a relative. It was like everything for her and got her through her childhood and then went away. And then I meet him. This disgusting animal. God, I fall in love despite God all of my why. goals. And I can't handle it. He's just perfect for me. And I know he's good for me. And so I stick with it. But he's a divorced guy of three kids, which means I have to now do relationship and kids, which is everything that terrifies my character. And my imaginary friend comes back to help me through. Hey, did you guys watch any? Uh, the only movie I can think of is Drop Dead Fred. Did you guys watch that before taking this role? Never heard of it. Never heard of Drop Dead Fred? No, I heard no, about it. But kidding. that's like a, an actual human form. Yeah, it's different. So it's, he's still an imaginary friend, but he can actually but Yeah, but he can actually do things. Can your can your imaginary friend do things and interact with things around it? Um she, well she certainly reacts, but she doesn't move anything okay, in the yeah. physical world. Do do right, right, it's right. like different. Um, then people are like, oh, it's like Alf. Like everyone needs, you know, some other point of reference, reference to compare it to. Yeah. So I understand that. But Alf was actually a puppet <laughs> in the real world, and Mary is literally my inner, you know, navigation of life manifest, so that the audience sees it and, and stuff. What are some of the challenges when working with something that's essentially not there? Well, You're you talking can about me yeah. right now, right. her acting against yeah. me yeah. Well, right now in the interview. Nice way. That's not a very nice way to put it. <laughs> Very barely, just to through the door. Well, you um, don't see the imaginary friend, do you? No. no, no, no. Um, I'm the only one who acts with it. So I have to do scenes. You know, I'm doing the scenes with the real humans, and then in the same scenes, I have this imaginary friend that I'm acting with empty space, and ne and they don't see it. So it's like juggling like a hundred balls, you know, which was really fun for me because it was a nice challenge. It was nothing I'd ever done in comedy before. I like that I get to play romance. I like that I get to play fish out of water with his kids because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> fish out of water on how do you do a relationship? Don't know. And, um, and then manage this whole imaginary friend factor. So I had a lot on my plate in a really fun way, which is why I wanted to do it. All right. Steven, last question for you is, what's it like working with this actress in, in, this, in this movie and just seeing her react to the imaginary friend? What, you mean what, working with Jenna in it? Yeah. It's very cool to watch. I mean, to be, to be part of the entire process is unbelievable. The way this show is actually made is incredible. They have people on set with this special, they come in and they have this special camera, where it, which where they they put it in the focal point of where Mary will ultimately be dropped into the world, and it records a 360 degree view of the entire world around it, so we know which way the light is supposed to hit Mary. It's incredible. And then we went to see um, this uh, post this post production of Zoic house. Studios, 90 animators, each one working to to move the character one second for an entire day, and it was just the the raddest experience. But watching her sort of play off, uh, you know, these, these, this thin air essentially after they remove the puppet, which we, we, they do first as a sort of a reference point. It was pretty funny to watch. I mean, it was cool to, to see her. I felt very cross-eyed by the end of the day. <laughs> it was, it was, it's, a, it's a true challenge and a testament to how great of a performer she is because it's not easy and not everybody can do it.